right, I'm gonna make some short clips, kind of explaining what you see here in the background. Um, I'm from a small town, in, well, not really. Well, actually, I'm from a small town in Manitoba, and then I moved to the city of Winnipeg. Um, I now live just outside the city of Winnipeg, and uh, I've never been outside Manitoba, so I went for a trip to BC, and it kind of changed my life perspective, so. I've uh, decided to pack everything up, sell everything I have. I want to get rid of all my bills and everything, get rid of all my debt, all my bills. And in, my, in doing that, I decided I'm going to move into my car for about a year because I want to go travel and see everything. My plan is I'd like to go see all of North America, uh, US included. Um, and then I'm going to move to BC because I have some friends in BC, some job offers, places to stay. So for right now, I'm gonna be living into my, uh, moving into my car, um, out of here, this house, because it someplace. Sometimes you can just chase happiness, but you won't find your true happiness. And I feel like for the week that I went to BC, I really found true happiness exploring this beautiful earth. So this is what I've done for a bed. So right now the foam mattress is taken out because um, it's being washed in the bottom. I gotta find a new one because it was a little bit thin as well. Um, but I have blankets in here now so my dog can kind of just lay there while we drive. But I kind of constructed a wood frame. It's not the best. Put some plywood down. I'm not a great carpenter. Um, so I have my bed this whole way. And right now I'm gonna kind of probably make some shelves or something along here. So we'll see. the other thing I've been up to do not mind my crappy construction I'm not a carpenter and I do not build things <laughs> um, or out of wood but this is pretty much what else I've been doing today it's kind of blocking off weird areas where stuff falls into uh, making little nooks and crannies to put stuff in um, I'm gonna be probably building a little bit of a wall along here behind the seat and then I'm getting a little like TV for right here for when I'm sleeping. I can put on a show to go to sleep. The reason I made this so narrow like that is because my mini fridge goes right here. So mini fridge here, some shelves and stuff. There's going to be a net or bungee cord stuff. Like just spices, little things like that. Stuff I can shove in there quick. You know, whatever. Yep. So, what I have done today, well, mostly just the tarp system. As you can see, my ghetto rigging has been up to no good today. This is my favorite part. Got three different height settings here. First, second, third, and it's actually a drastic difference. The third is angled probably like that, give nice rain runoff. The front one, I'm not going to do a bar, it's just going to bungee down so I can block my windows and stuff. I haven't done this side yet, but that's to come. And now the other side is done. Instead of uh, going and buying a new tarp, I decided to just use what I have. Uh, this little tarp I had laying around. It's still a mess like crazy right now because I just I'm just completely overwhelmed with everything that's there right now. So and I feel like everything I know where everything is, so if I put it away, I'm not gonna know where it is. I'll be running around like a madman trying to look for it. So I just kinda leave everything where it is right now while I build this. Um, so yeah, so that's what it's getting all done. A lot of my stuff is sold. Like I said, sorry about the wind, it's super windy, so a lot of my stuff is sold. Um, so I'm gonna be getting out of here like quick within the next couple weeks, I think. Alright, so I don't know how easily this is gonna be able to tell on video. But today I'm kinda working on doing 
my curtains. <laughs> like everything else, I'm doing it very ghetto-like. Um, but yeah, I just wanted something that'll kind of keep the light out. <laughs> um, so I've done them all the way around now. That one just hangs up there to keep it taut. And this one comes around there, and the curtains go all the way around. As you can see, I'm not going to set them up right now, but you guys will see if you follow what they'll look like. This one will hook onto there. There's one there that goes across the whole front, so I can have some nice and darkness. And I also put in a little whiteboard, some shelves, some stuff here. There's going to be a little TV here. I still got to figure out better clip systems for everything, but yeah, that's what's happening today right now. Here's another thing I've been doing the past couple of days, is just kind of making little slots to organize my tools. Uh, I'm very, I like bringing lots of tools everywhere I go, because you never know what's going to happen. Aside from the curtains, which I don't really have tied up properly right now, but that's kind of what they're going to look like on the eight pillars. Uh, I've also done this. I put in my solar unit and my inverter. There's going to be a battery down here that will be strictly charged by the solar panel. But I also have an old subwoofer wire that goes right to my battery. The fuse is pulled right now. That if I do need to charge it off the car, I can charge it off the car as well. And just kind of plug it in there. Sorry, the wind's so loud and so crazy out here. But uh, I went and picked up a generator as well yesterday. That's going to go on the roof. And uh, that'll be able to power a heater, cooking devices, stuff like that. Uh, heaters for, let's say, if I do stay in BC for the winter or somewhere cold. Um, I don't mind being a little bit cold and my dog hates being hot and absolutely loves the snow. So, yeah. So I got a couple more goodies in today. I got my mattress in. I already have my uh, sheet over it. So I can't really show you that, but it's five inches thick, two inches of foam, inch of memory foam, inch of comfort foam. It's amazing. Very comfy. I got some screen for my back windows. I got some storage bins for the roof. I also got my switch controller in along with the rest of my lights and LEDs and stuff. So those will all be installed tomorrow. I'll be hooking those up, putting covers on. I'll be hooking that up, getting the shower tested and working. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll give you guys a better update tomorrow in the daylight. It's getting kind of dark, but um, give you kind of updates like my central vac system that I have now my shower, um, everything, all my switches, all my solar stuff, um, show you how everything is actually installed, show you how I have everything organized and secured, like I literally have all of my clothes with me. It's
And now it's just really windy, but this is kind of my setup. So you guys can see. Ah, that is sick. <laughs> Checking in at the uh, Gloria's Motel here. Oh, wait. Maybe I'll go to the restaurant. Oh. Damn it. This is actually crazy. All the stuff that's around. This is just off the highway. Walk nice, buddy. There's glass in here. There you go. Holy fuck. Uh uh uh. Not too far. Oof. Okay. Let's uh. Let's get you out of here. Come here, clutch. All right. I put clutch away. Let's go check this out. Limited time only, eh? I wonder if there's any animals in here. Or how many animals there is in here. Crazy people just come to these places and just destroy them, eh? Like, who's, uh... Whose main idea is it to come to a place like this and just destroy it? Be cool to see this place like old and deserted but still a thing. Ew. As if this is a thing that's just it's just left here. Nobody came back for it. I don't want to explore too much and get eaten by freaking raccoons or something, but...
crazy, man. Don't worry, clutch is in the car and the AC is on, the car's running. Wonder what used to be right here. That someone probably intentionally burnt down for some reason. Vacuum. It's crazy, like, this is left and people could just live here if they really wanted to. Looks like people have been living here. It smells like fresh paint, which is weird. So you can go check out their Insta. This is deadly. Like the writing on the wall is pretty cool. Like it's like a, like a keep safe for people. But I don't go why people just gotta destroy everything. The old vacuum TVs, just junk. That's crazy. I wonder if these stairs are safe. Hello? Hmm. As if all of this stuff is just left here. It's crazy, man. I don't know why I opened that. I don't even know if I want to go farther down here. This is sketchy, bro. What the heck? I'm going to take and put flash on here. See, I guess, for the bathrooms. Showers, wash it dryer. Jeez, 
This is crazy. They probably just left it because it was too much to repair. Oh, there's mold in here. I can smell it real bad. So I'm going to get out of this building. However the fuck I can get out of here. That's pretty awesome. That's kind of stuff that I really want to be. Am I zoomed in? Can't zoom in or out. Well, that's the kind of stuff that I want to be doing and that I'm going to be doing a lot more of. So stay tuned. I'm about uh, two and a half, three hours away from Toronto now. Um, kind of just woke up and started driving. I just kind of really feel like I want to get over towards Toronto. So um, I just woke up, started driving, took a little bit of a break here, let Clutch go to the bathroom, have some food, and then I cleaned the car out too because it was getting really, really bad. Um, so I cleaned it up a little bit, and now we're going to hit the road. I just got to turn the GoPro on, and uh, we're good to go. Just stop for gas one more time. Uh, about an hour away from Toronto now, so the next stop should be Toronto. Clutch on his bed here, getting some water and food for the morning, playing with some toys. I'm kind of just cleaning out the car again because it gets real dirty real fast when you got this boy in there with you and myself. So we're just currently, currently cleaning this out, make it nice and clean again. I slept in, uh, or we slept in Coronation Park last night. Um, I moved here. At like 6 7 a.m. just to go take clutch for walks why are you whining buddy so today my plan is to kind of just go and uh, start going through my videos and editing videos and stuff like that so yeah and I should be getting my e-bike today so then I can take off from Toronto and keep uh, kind of traveling wherever the road takes me all right guys the moment you've all been waiting for I finally got my bike wasn't actually the bike that we had originally talked about, but I freaking love this bike honestly more. This is exactly what I wanted, plus he added the rack in, and he gave me a bigger battery. And he also gave me a tool set and a great deal on this chain lock. So yeah, get ready for the excitement. Now we're going to be able to go on any trails we want. We're going to be hooking this bike to that trailer. And this is going to be my second mode of transportation when I'm setting the car up as an RV in campgrounds. Good luck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that puts you under pressure, eh? Yeah, I kind of missed it a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. Look at this beauty. I'm about half an hour from Niagara Falls. I'm in between Hamilton and Niagara Falls. Just stopped for gas again and I uh, got some snacks and stuff. 
Gonna let Clutch run around for a bit and uh, kind of go to the bathroom, stretch his legs, and then we're gonna keep heading to Niagara Falls. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find a place to camp there and then we'll go check out Niagara Falls in the morning. All right guys, I'm at my spot for the night. I didn't find anywhere nice to sleep, but I'm just at a uh, Husky truck stop in Niagara. Car's back there. Taking Clutch for a little bit of a walk. Let him go to the bathroom. And uh, yeah, maybe go try and edit up some videos and stuff before I go to bed. Seeing as it's only like 9.30, 10 o'clock. Um, and then yeah, wake up bright and early and head to for Niagara Falls. So, see you there. Alright, well I woke up a little bit later than expected. I woke up at like 8 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. like I wanted. Clutch, watch my chips! Um, so I'm on my way to the falls right now. So yeah, see you there. Alrighty, we're about to go fucking walk to the falls. I just saw the falls drop. Falls are so cool. Oh my god. Look at it, look at it, look at it. There's an absolutely insane amount of people here as well. So it's going to be really hard to get some decent pictures because I have Futch and he likes to go wherever he wants to go. So I'm also the only person here with a dog, which I find kind of funny. stickers like crazy like this cars that you always see on the movies but uh, this is my start <laughs> number one and number two or vice versa you know load the whole back end of this car up with bumper stickers from different places that I've been All right, everyone we are in Port Hope Ontario it's pretty awesome. I just met some really nice people again. They signed the car. We sat and talked for probably an hour and a half uh, about everything. They told me all the history of Port uh, Port Hope. Port Hope. Yeah, um, and it's it's crazy the amount of history that's here, honestly. Um, but they also made me not want to sleep, or I was gonna sleep down some crazy back road. Um, they gave me some horror stories, probably just you know local horror stories, but still very uh, unnerving you know definitely didn't want to sleep down some dark road by myself so I'm at a truck stop again because honestly whatever you know I kind of like being in the light I'm only here for a night anyways and then I'm gonna go to Ottawa um, but on the way back I plan to get a campsite somewhere for a day or two days and then go explore the area really want to go test out this e-bike really badly i want to put this trailer on it put clutch in that trailer and put this bike to the test and go hit some trails so yeah stay tuned for all that um i'm sorry i haven't been able to post too too much um i've just been driving lots and trying to enjoy myself rather than just videoing everything as well and i have way too much video to go through already so i'm just kind of taking a break <laughs> taking a break on the videoing everything I've also been having troubles with uh, my laptop. I think it's a little too old to play these GoPro videos properly. So editing is a nightmare. Um, just everything is a nightmare right now when it comes to uploading these videos, not having good internet, um, just not having a good laptop, everything. Not knowing anything about technology. But once I get that figured out, even if I have to buy a better laptop, I will get these videos up ASAP, but at least for now, I'm trying to keep you updated. Um, there is a lot of videos to come. I just really need to make them proper so they're not boring to watch. So again, tomorrow, uh, making the rest of the way to Ottawa. Um, probably might stay there uh, until Saturday morning because it would be cool to participate in the Ottawa fun and shenanigans. But we will see, we will see where the road takes us because that's my thing. Let's take one more look at this amazing e-bike I got from Amigo Electric Vehicles in Toronto. I'll take a better video of it tomorrow in the daylight, give you guys a kind of rundown. 
But man, this thing's beautiful. I can't wait to try it out. I'd make one more quick video before I hit the hay here. Um, I just want to say it's pretty freaking awesome how many people have signed the card just today yet even. Um, yeah, like I've ran into and talked to probably four or five, six different people. Um, I think all of them signed actually. Plus Buddy who gave me a really good deal on the e-bike, he signed the car. So check this out. Those ones weren't permanent markers, so I think I'm gonna redo them. That's the first one. And here as well. <laughs> and here. All right, I'm in Toronto again. I'm just waiting. I'm gonna say goodbye to my buddy that's here, and then I'm leaving, and I'm gonna be heading back to like northwestern uh, Ontario. Um, hopefully gonna start actually making some content again I've just been it's kind of boring around here to be honest like I mean the city is cool but it's not too too much to actually video or do so um, once I start heading back like towards northwestern Ontario I'm gonna hopefully check out some cool abandoned places and stuff like that um, all right well my trip to uh, southern Ontario is pretty much done heading back to northern slash western Ontario Got my bike, that's what I came here for. Got some signatures, got some sponsor. So if anyone wants to catch me in Northern Ontario, I'll be there probably about a week-ish as I head back through and explore. And then uh, I'll be heading west to BC within the two week mark. So stay tuned, we'll see you guys there. Add in a little something here. I said sponsor, but I forgot. This is my second sponsor. The guys who did my decals gave me a wicked deal on these decals too. And they're Uniwraps, or Uniworks Wraps, Uniworks Design in Winnipeg. So that's technically my second sponsor on this trip. Amigo Electric Vehicles in Toronto and Uniworks Design slash Uniworks Wraps in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Hey everybody. Um, today I am going to be checking out the grotto and uh, I've actually mentioned it to a couple of local people and they don't even know what that is but it's up by Tobermary and uh, it's apparently just this really cool caves, really beautiful scenery uh, so I'm checking that out. Um, I'm going getting a campsite at, um, one sec, I need to check what the campsite's called. Peninsula Provincial Park is where I'm going to be uh, getting a campsite. Uh, I'm gonna get one about two o'clock. That's when they have the next one open and then I'll be just staying there for the day and then tomorrow a little bit too. Uh, I'll be heading out Probably two o'clock tomorrow and then I'll take the ferry over across the uh, across the Okay, so I really should have been videoing this drive up here, but I think I've reached the end of my road for this trail I went in there and it covered like up to there on my wheels just barely coming in so yeah, I don't think I want to go through that. Plus, there's another one there and another one, and it just gets mucky and murky. I ain't trying to get stuck down here as much fun as this looks like. The trail coming in was already pretty crazy, and I barely made it. Well, I made it pretty good, actually, for a Ford Taurus. But definitely not a trail that a Ford Taurus should be going down for sure. So this one, I think I'm going to uh, think I'm gonna turn around and not hit this. Back of this open. 
open area. I really just want to go back and go through that big giant puddle. I don't think I'd get stuck, but I also don't really have anything to get myself unstuck yet. I was going to bring a, a winch, and I didn't end up bringing my winch. And I don't have any of those uh, tire clasps or chains or anything like that. So, I mean, I could figure it out. I can dig. I can use a strap. But I ain't trying to get stuck right now. So, we'll save that for another day. Well, I found this beautiful campsite. Bruce Peninsula Provincial Park. Look at this. So nice. So beautiful. And it was fairly cheap. It was like $45 with firewood. And park pass to like the whole town. Well, not the whole town, but certain parking lots in the town. So I can go explore the town too. This is perfect. And a reasonable price. This is what I'm talking about. Well, I'm going to get all set up now. So, Actually, before I set everything up and the tarps up and everything, I should really unload this thing, clean out all the garbage. I might vacuum it too, but I don't really need the generator for anything else but that. So... I really just want to throw out all the garbage, organize everything again, and yeah, keep it tidy. So I took everything out that was in the car, most of the stuff that was in the trunk too, and uh, I'm just going to put her back in once I clean everything, and yeah. Change my bed sheets again, change my pillowcases, nice and clean and comfy again. Got my laundry pile down there. I gotta do laundry soon. It's starting to build up. I think Clutch went on a little ride on the bike. Yeah, he was riding, on, running alongside awesomely, really well, and uh, in the trailer, uh, really well. Went for like about 20 kilometers to the store and back. And now we're back here, uh, having a little bit of a fire. Clutch is chilling on the table. I have my Christmas lights I put up around here. I don't think I'm gonna set the tarps up. Um, just because I don't really need to. I don't really feel like it either. So we'll see. I stay here for two nights just because it's really beautiful here and this is exactly what I was looking for for a long time. So yeah. <laughs>
guys I'm just gonna make a quick video here I'm sorry I haven't been updating you guys all too much but uh, you know I also want to kind of enjoy myself on this trip as much as I want to video everything um, but I'm on my way back to Manitoba now for just for a few days I'm gonna stay at my mom do some maintenance on the car um, get some money uh, put some money in the bank on credit cards this that and the other but I haven't been recording too much because my phone is like completely full and my computer is being so slow and won't put, put, put them on for some reason. And my GoPro videos also take really long to convert and upload and this, that and the other. So I haven't really been doing any of my GoPro videos yet either. So I hope to do that um, when I'm back in Manitoba. And I gotta keep pausing this because I gotta be quick because I literally only have a minute left to record on my phone before it's full. So once I empty out my phone and I do all that, and I have space on here again, uh, I'm gonna start recording more. But, you know, for a couple of days, I'm probably, I'm well, not probably, I'm gonna be just in Manitoba for a few days. So it's probably not gonna be too much exciting besides maybe me talking, working on my car, making random TikToks and stuff. So just stay tuned. I am heading to BC as soon as, it, like probably Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm heading to BC. I'm stopping in Saskatchewan at Borden Bridge Campground and maybe some places along the way too but i really just want to be back in bc honestly i love bc so much and the feeling there and the air and just everything so, so i'm gonna end this here you guys have a good day stay wonderful